I have to come here right quick. I don't know whether you whether you all remember. Let me um. Second, go here and put this on. Oh. Draw something. All right, let me just. Put this on like quick. Probably say we should put it on before you will. Listen, this is my channel, okay? Whatever y'all gonna say, y'all gonna say. Whether I put it on before, whether I put it on. Let me just close up my bra so y'all won't be seeing all of that stuff. I ain't here to provoke nobody because I got a husband. And not to say that anybody is all interested in me, but just to throw that out there. Okay, I got my glasses on, which I don't need them, but I got them on. Okay. So. Let me just say this right quick, and I'm going to get on out the way. Um, I don't know whether y'all remember. I think it was yesterday I did the video. Of Kershaw, and I was trying to reach her and stuff like that, and I haven't heard nothing. Okay. They say what's done in the dark shall be brought to the light. So y'all, y'all heard me. Y'all heard me, right? Worrying about whether or not I said something, whether it was me that said something. Oh, my glass is dirty. Whether it was me that said something. Right? I'm over here saying, oh, I wonder if it was me. I wonder if she mad with me. I, I read text stating, if it's me, let me know. Right? Let me know if it's me. Right? Didn't get no answer. Till this moment right here, I still ain't getting no answer. So... I'm in the car on my way home, and somebody mentioned Sister Kershaw, right? Now, once they mentioned Sister Kershaw, I said to myself, I said, but wait a minute. I didn't hear nothing from her. And I, you know, I'm saying maybe this is a later. Maybe this is a way earlier, you know, text or something. But they was like, no. Nah. When they said no, nah, she waiting for this. And I guess in a sense they saying that's why she didn't come out. Because she waiting for that. Whatever it is she waiting for. That... That's a recent situation because I'm sorry, I'm looking for my my um the only thing about well I can't say Louis Vuitton but they give you so much space so that you can be digging for stuff. So I'm looking for my eyeglass cleaner. So, that is a recent situation in her life. So, that let me know that they that she recently talked to them. So, now I'm saying to myself, I said, well, I wanted to know. She ain't telling me, so I guess that's really, I guess it's something that I said. Well, just like I said, if people don't like what the Lord's saying, to them that I really think you need to get on the phone and you just need 
to have a little talk with Jesus. <laughs> you just need to tell him all about your troubles. Here's the thing. He'll hear your faintest cry. And if it's anything yeah. about me that you don't like that you tell him, he going to answer by and by. But here's the thing. You got to feel a little prayer wheel turning. And then you got to know that the Holy Ghost fire is burning. Because then you can have a little talk with Jesus. And he going to make things all right. So other than that, you can go to him on me if you want. But if you ain't right, and what I'm telling you that you don't like is what God wants you to know. Then I'm glad you mad with me. Don't never speak to me as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Cause that let me know you ain't get it right with God. When you start speaking to when you start speaking to me again after something that I said to you that made you feel some kind of way, I know you got it right with the Lord. You ain't get it yet if you're still mad with me. And I ain't gonna worry my little eyes that he gave me to be trying to see is she coming down the block my little ears did he allow me to hear his voice is she gonna call me no nah, i ain't put myself back in that, that situation i was in there and i was in there hard i was in it hard man this is what I came home to. My little rice. But y'all know I don't eat right. This chicken look kind of good. So I'm trying to see if I want to eat it. I'm just a picky eater. So many old time. How picky I am. But I am going to finish my combo. So, once I heard that, so I'm hearing to myself, okay. So, I'm calling and I'm texting. And you don't want to answer and all this other force. Okay, fine. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. You know, ain't a thing I can do about it. I wore these boots today, you guys. Oops. Maybe y'all can see them better in the light. These are the ones that I got from Snitch Fix. Stitch Fix. I keep saying snitch. <laughs> what are they doing? They snitching on people. Okay, so. This is it. And if y'all remember, if you don't, you can always go to that video. It, you'll see the Stitch Fix unboxing. Y'all can go to that video. And y'all will see where I was telling you that right up in here hurt. Let me see something. Ah, excuse me. Y'all see how my, y'all can look at these and see how my feet is. Y'all see how it's breaking here. This is, I got a high bone up here, arch bone up here. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I had that that difficulty in that feet from the time I was small. My right foot always was a little bit bigger. And I, that's why I always had to wear, now I'm not saying this to brag about it or to brag on myself of the money that I spend. Because you can get nice, good leather shoes less than $159. Okay. But, you know, if they worth the $150, which I think these are, and these would take me 
I think these will go a long ways with me. Some years. I can smell already. So I think I'm going to invest in these. See, I have to wear. I had to wear them just to see how they would accommodate my feet. And it is the upper is leather. But this part feels suede. But they say it's leather. Maybe it's cowhide. Possibility. They don't tell me what kind of leather. They just said leather. And you can see the... This part is high. So it's kind of made like the, in a cowboy. I think it's kind of like a cowboy style. So I believe I'm going to keep these. Even at that amount. You know, uh, I will eventually get the money to them. You know? I will eventually get it to them. I don't think they'll give me necessarily any issues. Any problems? Yeah, um, so what was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, I was talking about the boot, right? So yeah, these are kind of nice. And you can see inside. Yeah, it's, that's length. It's from my crazy sweat I had on. But you can see inside the leather. Yeah. And I believe it's made in India. Can y'all see made in India? Leather upper. And it even got man made sole. So this down here is man made. So we know it's going to run down. But I think these will last me. And I, I needed a good black pair. And I think this is worth it. So I'll just pay towards it. But I will get them. You know. Ain't good for that. Me and them is conversating back and forth. Okay, so as I was saying, that's what I was saying. That's what I was trying to think. When when I was in my younger days, I had to, um, I had to always buy a leather shoe. That's one reason why I wouldn't wear sneakers too much, because it was something about my feet that would not accommodate sneakers too much. I would wear them. I would wear them for style, never for comfort. Now I'm, excuse me. Now I'm wearing them for comfort. But back then I would wear them for style. These I want to just throw in there right quick. These are, these are Adidas Stan Smith. I don't know what y'all can see. Stan Smith. It may be a bit, you know, not white like I bought them. But these are very good. And they are ve vegan leather. I didn't think I was going to like them because it was vegan. But it was good. So now back to this cursor. If that's how she feel, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing I can do about it. You know, I, I, I noticed that since I got deeper in the Lord and certain, and I done start preaching, a lot of people don't start turning against me. They don't want to be my friends no more. They don't want to talk to me no more. But here's another thing that I noticed, that the Lord has started removing people before I got that position to preach every Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So he was removing people. You know, he was taking them out of my spirit. He was taking them, you know, because he was taking them away from me, you know? So as I had said in that audio in reference to Tandra, he had, he had put me in a place where I would say things and... 
to people it would be harsh. Like, how's she saying that? She's supposed to be safe. But I don't know, within my spirit, it didn't really affect me spiritually because I would say what I had to say. And at the time, the person didn't like it. But then God would send a witness to what I said or allow something to happen with that person where they would see that what I said came from God. Even though they was fighting me when I was saying it. That ain't God. God ain't tell you to say that. And all this different stuff. And I used to back down. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, people would, You got something to say? No, I ain't got nothing to say. I had to go in moments of silence. I had to go in months of silence. Not saying nothing. Boy, my glasses. I don't know what's going on. I cleaned it. It's not cleaning. Or maybe it's how I'm... Maybe I need to clean both sides. Maybe it's how I'm cleaning it. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. This is how I'm cleaning it. Sometimes I just wash my glasses and let them... Try to let them air dry. Because I think I'll get a better clean that way. And I take it to the to the eye. I take it to the eye doctor, the eyeglass place, and they clean it just as nice. And okay, that's a little better. So um, I don't worry. You know, I'm not worried anymore about it. I'm at a place where it reminds me of Bishop Mingo. Bishop Mingo, she would say things, right? And I'm not going to say it was hurtful because it didn't really hurt me. But it was blunt. It was blunt. You know, she would say what she had to say bluntfully. If she had to laugh, laugh in your face, she laughed in your face. But she said whatever she had to say bluntfully. And here's the thing. It edified you. You didn't walk around mad. Well, I did. I'm going to be honest with you. My grandmother and my aunt, it never was nothing really that they said to me that made me angry with them. The only thing, the only problem I would have with my grandmother is that I always felt like she didn't listen to me. Because I felt like people would pick on me and tell lies on me, but it would be like, seem like she didn't see that. But she did. And that is why she bestowed all her love towards me. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying she didn't love the other grandkids, because she did. But. But my cousin, before she died, she told me that she was very jealous. I have a video on that one, so if I remember, I'll attach it in this video. How my cousin, I think it said how my cousin got saved. I think that was it, how my cousin got saved. And um, before she died, she came. She came to um, see me. And she said to me that, that, um, She came, cousin. <laughs> she had came to see me before. Before she died.
But, um, and she told me, and she told me that, um, she was jealous because grandma loved it me. She felt that grandma loved it me than her. And I was like, really? I said, mommy was crazy about you. She said, no. And then there was another cousin named LeVette. She said the same thing. Somebody, one of the elders in, one of the elders told me that she didn't like my grandmother. She didn't like what my grandmother said and all this other stuff. I mean, personally, I don't see how it had anything to do with me, but I got the short end of the stick. And I don't know why people want to take things out on people's kids. Approach the parents. Leave me alone. You want to be treating me bad because you dislike what my grandmother said. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. But, um, yeah, so, not too much I can do about how they feel. I just got to So, that's how she felt, so it wasn't really nothing I could do. Let me just say this and end the video. So, now now I see. So, I'm not going to even be breaking my neck, you know? When God moves people out your life, you accept it and keep going. Remember that. When God takes people away from you, don't go back and look for them.